please. No more. I can't take any more. I'm long dead, stranger. But I suffer torment unending thanks to my husband, Narayaneth. The Daedra gripped their wretched claws on his soul, turned him wicked, turned him against me. All that you see was the result. My husband, the twisted creature he became, cursed me, broke my soul into three pieces and sealed them in phylacteries. If the phylacteries were broken, I would rest, but they are guarded by vile beasts. I have long dreamed of kind words and a way out, but I think this task is beyond you, my friend. The first phylactery is up ahead. Watched by impossible creatures. You cannot defeat them. No one can. In time long past, this was the Argyarel, where I taught the trade of adventuring. My husband, Ryaneth, has broken it. Made it a crypt of hearts, where my spirit and the spirit of my students will suffer for as long as his magic lasts. Thank you. I didn't... I wasn't expecting you would be so capable. You've ended Ankanath's torture and freed a fragment of my soul. Are you willing to do more? My soul remains bound, and the Daedra are torturing others. He was a fellow instructor here at the Agia Rel, teaching the discipline of destruction magic. Losing him was a tragedy to me and to the magical community. I hope he rests in peace. He thought the two of us were having an affair. He was wrong, of course, but his accusation cut deep just the same. Almost as deep as the torture he inflicted on our souls, for years. To this day, I'm not sure why he believes it, except to say that the Daedra must have whispered it in his ear. Two fragments of my soul remain imprisoned. Free them, and I would... I would finally be able to move on. Ankanath's cries have echoed through this chamber for years. The silence now is almost deafening. Another fragment of my soul lies to the south. It's heavily guarded, so be wary. I would not fault you for turning back. It only gets tougher from here. Alanway, do you have a moment? I was hoping to speak to you about a new lesson plan. But I think I may have a more pressing issue. I wanted to speak to you as well. What's this I hear about you teaching advanced destruction? I want the students able to defend themselves in the backwoods of Tamriel, but I don't want them learning how to fight a war or burning the school down. And yet, you hired a war wizard. Can this conversation wait? Your husband... Narayanan, what is it? He thinks you and I are having an affair. 
An affair? With you? Why is that humorous? No reason in particular. Continue to suffer, Mariah. Stop! You have my thanks, friend. Rulanir didn't deserve that. No one does. He was the school's blade master, a fellow instructor. Rulanir was an old friend, and my husband knew that whatever pain he inflicted on Rulanir, I would regret. Your determination gives me hope. I resigned myself to the pain a long time ago. You'll find the last fragment through the gate in the southeast. A powerful lich guards the last fragment, plucked out of history and summoned by my husband. He's ravaging the soul of one of my students. I would die again to help that student, but I can't. Please, save him if you can. He's the one who wins. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment, Rulanir. But look around. Look what he helped me to build. The Agia Rail and its students are more beautiful than I ever dreamed. How can you doubt his character? That is not a reason to love someone. He was my husband before we built the school, Rulanir. And it's not like you haven't gained from his work. Being our Blade Master is the first steady job you've held since the Fighters Guild kicked you out. I'll be back on the roads of Tamriel soon enough. And maybe you'll come to your senses and adventure with me again. Keep dreaming, Rulanir. This school is the world to me now.
thank you for freeing me. For freeing Thandor. Our torment was washed him in fire during the day, and he slept only to face the same all over again. I hope that he can rest easy now. A student of mine. I was fond of him. He was the opposite. He was the unruly son of a noble Ultima family, and he resented me and everyone here. But he had an instinctual magical spark that the Mage's Guild lacked the patience to stoke. He became the greatest mage the Ajirel ever produced. Better than my husband, said the Altamari diplomats who visited during Thandor's graduation. The day Thandor was to leave, my husband solidified his Daedric Pact. And you know Thandor's fate. I did not dare to hope you would make it this far. But your abilities have been astonishing. The pieces of my soul are free. Though my husband left two Daedric minions, Elambrus Aethor and Elambrus Zavon, to prevent the shards from reuniting. The Daedra maintains spells that will keep the shards from ever merging, my soul from reforming. My husband meant for my pain to be the likes of torture and oblivion. How better to ensure that than to bring denizens of oblivion to me? Yes, if you are willing to face them. Defeating those Daedra will dispel their magic and allow my soul to reform. They ruminate on new tortures in a chamber to the south of here. I never hoped that I would ever be free, but I thank you for unbinding this fragment of my soul. You've helped Feindor too, and that brings me a sense of peace that I'm unable to express. Feindor! What? How many times do I have to tell you not to rewrite in Orionet's texts? It's incredibly irritating and insulting. His books are wrong. All of this is pointless conjecture. You lot should be paying me to fix his work. The incoming classes will benefit greatly from my edits. By the Empyrean Light! The Altmeri do not openly criticize their elders. Were you conceived by orcs? What's wrong with you? I might as well be an orc, the way my parents shipped me off to you. But you know that, don't you, Alan Way? You're all such lovely elves. I... apologize. Put the books back where you found them, and I shall leave it at that. You have talent, Feindor. Don't waste it showing off. If you think you can do better, prove it to us when the time comes. Please, have you read this garbage? Your husband knows nothing about conjuration. What does he even teach here? What is his purpose, besides paying for this building? He's an insult to your kind. Your kind meaning mages, all the mages in the world. Shut your mouth, Feindor! You're a horrible youth!
Do you feel that? The others are returning! I don't know where you found your new friends, Armanway, but they don't seem to fear death. It's admirable. They can speak to that better than I, but they've bested my husband's minions. We owe them everything. Indeed. By the Empyrean Light! I didn't know Narayaneth had tortured so many of us. That horse and dog. Easy, Feindor. He'll pay when the time comes. But we don't want you rushing off to die. Our again. friends killed his Daedric pets. He may come looking for us, and we need to be ready. You've done the impossible. I've seen those Daedric fiends flay the souls of my friends with but a word. Your power must be immense, dwarfed only by your generosity. I... the shards have merged and my soul is whole once more. Give you my gratitude. The Daedra drove Narayaneth to do this, I know it. I would leave this plane, but I cannot, knowing Narayaneth is still out there. He may return, and on that day, I will do everything I can to free him from Daedric influence. You have freed not only my soul, but the souls of all the students caught in my husband's attack. Your actions right a wrong that was long overdue. My husband and I met as adventurers. We founded this school to teach practical sorcery and use of arms as survival skills. The world can be a dangerous place, and we wanted to give our students the means to tame it, like we did, had I known. Had I known what my husband would ultimately become, and what he would do to this school and his students, I would never have built it. In a way, I gave the Daedra all those lives. Years of torment out of something that should have been wonderful. Leave the students be. I'm the one you want. I don't know how you lot escaped from torture, but it will resume. You are not yourself, Narayaneth. Let me help you. Help yourself, wretch. Wait! Did you arrive from the surface? You need to take leave of this place. There's a war on down here. My husband, Narayaneth, made a Daedric pact that granted him lichdom. He slayed me, slayed our students. Then his minions tortured our spirits for years within these walls before you set us free. But he's returned. Oriel must guide your steps for you to return today. I accept your offer. Narayaneth is more powerful than I have ever known him to be. If we're to contest with him, we should go to his study up ahead. It's where he'll be. The students and I thought we could defeat Narayaneth when he returned. We were wrong. But even a lich as powerful as he's become can be beaten if we destroy his body. We just need to find him. Let's check his study up ahead. I'll meet you there.
souls. Kill the intruders. out of the dangerous reach. Narayaneth will answer for this. He has to. Our bedroom. We used to store our adventuring relics here. It's warded. Quite a defense for such a small room. There must be a way to open it. And these statues didn't used to be here. journal mentions a ritual that brought the Daedra, performed out in the rain. Only a few courtyards on the grounds, so let's seek them out.
concern you is that it counsels me. It convinced me of your betrayal, of the need for the students to pay for their insolence. It has led you astray. On the contrary, this blade grants me a clarity I never had in life, and I will have you respect it. Meet on the other side. Be wary. Narayaneth, cease this madness. My friends have defeated your horde. Lay down your blade. You so love the sound of your own voice. Couldn't you see the blade wanted you here all along? The blade. I can hear the whispers from it. By the divines. So many lives.
thank you, my friends. Narayanath was no longer the man I knew. Perhaps he never was. I had hoped until the end that Narayanath could be redeemed. He never gave us the chance. I suppose I have to decide what to do with this blade. Try to move on. Whatever that means at this point. Thank you again. You proved invaluable today. never again be allowed to influence mortals. It has hurt you, has it not? Perhaps you could destroy it. Disable it. I could help you. You think I trust you? The one who twisted my husband, murdered my students. I will send the blade away and I will do so on my own terms, no matter the cost. It will travel far, ever slipping from the hands that desire it. This cannot happen again. The blade will fight you. It is fully empowered, and it wishes to return home. Never again. Mortals never fail to amuse. That edge was fully sharpened, and would have seen great use at my side in the days to come. But Alanwe gave everything to cast it away. There is nothing left to take from her. You and I, however, will 